want to make a caterpillar cake. Um, first, we need to get the egg yolks and whip them with some caster sugar. We've got 85 grams here. I'm going to use half of it and I'm going to blast my whisk. One second, let me get it hooked up. the rest of the sugar. And now I'm going to sieve in the mixture of 85 grams of self-raising flour, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, and then half a teaspoon of baking powder, which is all in here. So just sieve that in. Spatula and just fold this all together. Now I have a flat baking tray with no mixture left to lick the bowl at all. I'm going to have to use all of it. So it's going to go into the oven for 10 minutes at 170 degrees. The time is going to go off. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to see if this one works actually. Ooh, interesting. Firm though, definitely, <laughs> definitely firm cake. Uh, not sure how I feel about this. Put this over literally for like two minutes, just to cool down like very slightly, so I don't burn my thing. I'm gonna make the chocolate buttercream. So um, first, I'm gonna get 200 grams of butter, 400 grams of icing sugar. Quite vigorously, <laughs> and I've noticed like some of the butter has dropped into my cocoa powder, but that doesn't matter because it does not matter. And this is five tablespoons of cocoa powder, so it's a fair bit. I should have probably measured how much that actually was, but if you've got a tablespoon, that's all good, you don't need to worry. And there's the big bit of butter. Oh my god, why did I do that? <laughs> Icing sugar. And then, this is some melted, um, 100 grams of melted chocolate that I'm just going to pour in to make the buttercream. <gasps> buttercream even more chocolatey and delicious and amazing and who doesn't like melted chocolate oh my god that's actually really nice um i might add a little drop of milk i don't know yeah yeah i will just a splash while i was making the buttercream i completely forgot how important it is to roll out the um while it's still hot. So really gently. Just roll it. Oh my god, I think I can hear it cracking already. Don't press down like I just did. <laughs> and then let your cake sausage cool. Basically, this is melted white Swiss chocolate. 
and the idea is I don't know whether you can see that very well can you see it I don't know I've made like a makeshift mold of the collared face and so um basically it's just pure melted chocolate nothing special um, I'm gonna move this just to the edge and I tried to create like the little um round funny little face he's got that looks that kind of looks like his head shape anyway for the rest of the chocolate I've lined up like the little feet so I'm just gonna put like a dollop in each of the molds so they can be his little feet and I'm not too worried about being um you know very precise about this and that's really good because it isn't precise at all so we're just gonna dollop and he's just got kind of like that natural look the natural toes from you know a caterpillar it would be great if i could kind of like you know paint on what his little strange like kind of half tongue out half smile on there but i don't think i'm gonna be like successful in that so i'm just gonna leave it so that's all gonna go in the fridge now wish me luck dear is going to be putting the buttercream inside of the log i believe it has cooled i believe right i'm gonna unravel it very gently it does look oh yeah it's in a swirl it's kind of in a swirl oh it's broken in a few bits it's broken <laughs> buttercream we will so it's everywhere I need it to be then we're just gonna wowza oh my god that looks so bad a pop she probably won't like that much I'm gonna pop Blobs of buttercream. Anyone who is your friend will tell you that it looks great and they'll say it tastes amazing and basically lie to you. <laughs> Ganache is amazing, but also I'm finding it really hard to make. Like every time I make it, it seems to split which obviously is not cool so I'm just gonna put that on top and pray basically um, I started spreading it without actually turning on the camera so I thought I'd turn the camera on now I'm gonna pop it in the fridge for like, ooh, I don't know how long. It's still runny. So I was gonna pop on the eyes whilst I had a chance. So the eyes, I'm just gonna use these giant dairy milk buttons and then a little bit of this white chocolate that's still wet and just apply there's one there's the other <laughs> that looks really funny actually um kind of didn't want that to this be, uh, it's kind of like seamless the eyes and there's ah here he is the man himself i think i pretty much cracked it i don't think there's much else i can do other than like a pink bit which i could use a smart there we go oh gosh that's interesting i don't know about that maybe if i had like 
a little bit of white chocolate to just like make some definition. So the final part of my video is pressing the cake, which is the most exciting part. Um, so first thing says, nice board to put it on. Pick it up. So heavy actually. Oh my god, don't drink. Put some smarties on top. I actually don't know how. One second. Funky little feet that I made basically from tin foil and cling film. Very firming. Which I'm just gonna, oh yeah, you can see it if I put it on there. And that, that is it. That is my Colin the Caterpillar. Ta -da! Do you know what? I can't quite believe how great this looks. Amazing.